Your attention, please. <laughs> the Santa Fe and Disneyland passenger train, the E.P. Ripley, now loading on track number one for a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. All aboard. of London. Jim, Jim, and me, Jim, Jim, and me, Jim, Jim, Jim. Good luck, we're a bop. When I strike, says we're pew, pew. Good morning. We are back at Disneyland again, obviously. I'm excited. I have been wanting this breakfast all week long, and we're going to go get it right now. It's at the Jolly Holiday. Let's go. I really cannot get enough of it. I, I can't. I'm on day four, and I'm still, every time I walk in here, just blown away by everything. You know, I think I might move here instead of Orlando. And breakfast ends at 10.30 and I didn't want to miss this because I've been waiting for so long for it. So I just mobile ordered it and it should be up any minute. They have so many great snackies, but my favorite one is the Matterhorn macaroon. So you know what? I added that to the order too because I don't know when I'll ever be here again. And they definitely don't have these in Disney World. I feel like nothing says congratulations on losing over 100 pounds, like gaining 50 back on a vacation. I am so glad I did it this way because the spot that I was at in line is still outside of the door. So I'm glad we did it this way because it is 10.30 now. So this is literally a croissant with bacon, egg, and cheese on it. And it is so good. It's only $5 and it's amazing. This is literally a latte. I've waited five years for this. It was worth the wait. So good. Let's try this like black coffee. <laughs> it's bitter. I keep forgetting that we have this like Max Pass thing and I never make us fast pass. Let's do let's do Buzz Lightyear again. We'll do Buzz Lightyear again. I feel like Disney needs to like really read their cups and stop changing everything. <laughs> In all of this excitement, I completely forgot and almost got up and threw this tray away. It was almost like the ticket incident, except that was $500 and this is $2.99. But look at this. Look at this little Matterhorn macaroon. Well, it's not really little, it's kind of big. It's bigger than I remember. But we can't eat it right now because we have to do the typical thing and take a picture with it in front of the Matterhorn. A quick little PSA, this 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 Gucci sweatshirt is not real at all. It was $20 and it was from an Etsy shop. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful shirt and I love it very much. But I don't want any nonsense. Cane, you believe someone left their cane there? Okay, we've taken a lot of pictures, so let's 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 eat it now. Ow. Let's go. I can't bite that. This is hard to eat, I don't know if it's because my teeth hurt from my braces, or I can't, I can't bite this. Okay, we've just taken like 50 pictures with that, I tried to take a bite of it, I had to eat it from the bottom, and I think last time it was so much better because it wasn't so hard for me to eat, the sun is so bright. Okay, let's go to Tomorrowland. Just, let's just take that in for one second. How neat to know that there was once the people mover right here, going in there, bringing thousands of people on a grand circle tour of Tomorrowland. And then it turned into that strange car thing. All right, and this is our first fast pass for the day. So we're gonna go do that right now. Okay, we can do better than last time. Last time we only got 300 points because I didn't realize you have to let go. So let's do this. Let's, let's beat our last time score. So I've been shooting my own hand and we're racking up the points here. I mean, shooting my own hand counts as 100 points of pop. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot us. Attention, Stacey Ladies. 
Look at that, we're 100 points too. Anyway, that's the end of the ride and we are definitely Galactic Heroes this time. That is so much better than Disney World. I love that we get to like aim for the Z's with some actual action power. Like, we're like flipping this bad boy around. Don't tell anyone we were planetary pirates. Not pirates, pilots. The photo pass here is a little bit different. It's kind of like stranger. You have to go to these computer screens and find yourself. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Let's see how serious we are because we don't know where the camera is. Um, yeah, we take this very seriously around here. It's literally a whole entire stand full of Luxo balls. Everything has a Luxo ball. I have this. I remember the day I got this. I was so excited and I loved this. This is my favorite part of it. Isn't that adorable? It's really weird to come out and not be like, hey, let's go do the people mover and then go do Carousel of Progress too. Because, you know, like, you just can't do that. Okay, and while we're in Tomorrowland, we're going to use their Fuel Rock, which is right next to Space Mountain. 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 I love these little Space Mountain um, cookie jars and mugs. And I love this Tomorrowland shirt. I really, really, really like this a lot. Tomorrowland's my favorite land. It is $50. First thing we're going to do is the monorail. That is so exciting. I have not done that. So let's go do it. You know we're on a regularly scheduled Veronica vlog when I said we're doing the monorail. And now we're jogging over to the Magical Map Show. I am so excited to see this. I have never seen it before in my life besides on YouTube, so I'm really excited. You are an what is this about? I'm like so confused. <laughs> now I'm just even more confused. <laughs> in trouble now. The secret of the map. Oh no he's not. The map contains never ending legend. For it will never be completed. Not as long as there is imagination left in the world. And like now, Disneyland. This on the show is at first I was a little confused as to what it was about but I started catching on it was it was really great and you know Mickey just wanted to be an apprentice and I actually teared up and I got goosebumps so you know it was a good show and I really love the confetti effect at the end I was hoping some would land on me but can't always get what you wish for I wonder how many adults besides me stay behind so they can grab more confetti and run around with it because everybody's out of here except for me is there something stuck to my shoe <laughs> Alright, I really better get out of here. I really better get out of here. It's all just cast members and me playing in the, the confetti. Now we're going to head over to the monorail, finally. I know, I'm, I am so disorganized all the time and I, I apologize. Look, 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 look. Ooh! Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that so great? I walked right past the monorail station. Look at the cars! Oh! <laughs> Listen to it! It just beeped at me! It beeped at me! Look at that view. Wow. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse aliado de las puertas. Is that gonna happen here? Here we go! Oh, there's like, there's like the city. This window. Some guy just came up to me and asked me how to get this under mountain and I, I pointed and I said, I think it's that way. And I probably just sent him to California Adventure. He's probably in line for Tower of Terror right now. 
We've got Alice and the Mad Hatter is out here. Just not a big character person. Not the face characters. I like meeting the ones that um, aren't the face characters, like Mickey and Goofy, but face characters, no. They give me... I don't know why. Four hours later and we finally found Small World again. Stuff's happening. This kind of reminds me of that movie Escape from Tomorrow. That was a very, very strange movie. The guy in the end passed away from cat flu. It was so weird. If you've never seen it, I just... It was filmed in Disney World and Disneyland. You could skip it. It's very odd. We are row one. We are row one. I am so excited. I can't take it. I am freaking out. This is the first time this whole week that we've been row one for something. We're usually row six. I'm so freaking out. I don't know why. I'm just so happy. I just want to make women this so bad. Stop it. Hello there. We'll see if this time we can find more of the Disney characters because last week we didn't do so good. Well, we know we have Alice here. Okay, here's one we missed last time. There's Cinderella and Gus Gus. And the geese from Aristocats. Okay, we've got Pinocchio, Aladdin, and Jasmine. We are doing so much better this time around. The walrus from Tusk, Mushu, Mulan, and of course Simba and Pumba from last time, and this little beauty. Wow, Emily. These guys do not have the energy as the dolls do at um, Grand Fiesta Tour. Ariel, Flounder, Oh my goodness, and Dory and Nemo. Jessie and Woody and Bullseye. I wonder why that moon has a duck sticking out of it. That is very true. The weather here is amazing. It is nothing like home. It's not like Florida. It's just perfect here. So it's going to be Space Mountain here, Small World. I don't know what's third. I would say Haunted Mansion, but I didn't get a chance to do that here. Let's stop and do this. I think I said I was never doing this again like 10 times already. But like I said last time, this was a dream for me to ride this ride. So glad we get to do Space Mountain anyway. I'm gonna start working on how I say mountain. Have I ever mentioned that I love it here? This kind of reminds me of Test Track. You know what I mean when you go up the hill for Test Track? Didn't want to wait in the regular queue line. It's by the exit, apparently. I kept my hands up that entire time. How amazing is this Main Street? Let's just take a few seconds to think about that. And everything is kind of low. Like, okay, I'm 4'11". I can touch it. Look at these. Amazing. Just uh, uh, incredible. These are like kind of, it reminds me of the train station at Magic Kingdom at Disney World. But there's a lot more, a lot more things. And here is Esmeralda. You can't even see her. All right, there we go. There's that beauty. Playing Lion King. The ducks are really jamming out here. Oh, some more Lion King. I think these two are in love. Shy. Tell her how you feel. Tell her. Really, it's just amazing here. Like their emporium is so vintage looking inside and like old. And that magic shop, I know it's not the way it used to be, but it's amazing. I love this. This is so cute. It's got a GX7 on it and Small World, Fantasmic. This is adorable. 
Oh my gosh, so is this one. What? Look at that. Isn't that so neat? Like that's above the registers in here. This is, we're in the Emporium right now. And then over here is another little scene. How great. How cool are these windows? They're inside of the Emporium. But they're like, they're like really neat. Hey, I have those ears. Right now. Look at this cool dog here. I think we're gonna end part one of day four right now. And we'll pick up where we left off next week. Remember, we have a lot more story left to tell. If you're new to the channel, I'd love you to subscribe to our adventures. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give it a little thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And all that good stuff. Bye guys. We've ventured into a lot of different fields. We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Now that's why I want this part of the